This is the Ice River KS0 Pro. My name's Bryn, I'm an editor here at the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today, I won't just be behind the screen, I'm in front of the screen. You may have seen me in a couple of other videos, but today we're going to be reviewing and overclocking the Ice River KS0 Pro, one of the most profitable uh, at-home mining rigs at the moment available. So uh, let's jump into it. We bought this Ice River KS0 Pro from ASIC Marketplace and their delivery service was fantastic. Uh, I received the miner within three days of ordering and to me that is really incredible considering that the delivery infrastructure here in South Africa is not generally considered the greatest. So it makes a huge difference if you've watched maybe any of our mining videos here on the Voscoin YouTube channel, you'll know that receiving your miner earlier or as quickly as possible can make a huge difference on impacting your ROI or your return on investment. So the faster you get it, the quicker you can set it up, and the quicker you can start making that sweet crypto coin. So let's go through the process of this miner, the unboxing and the setup. It comes with a power supply, which is fantastic. So you just have to plug that power supply in, connect it into the miner, find an ethernet cable and plug it into ethernet so that it can be connected to the internet. And then you're able to connect directly to the miner from the dashboard. You will have to find it on your network. I used a network scanner from my Mac to find the uh, IP of the miner. You just log into the, the dashboard. It's the Ice River dashboard, so it has a traditional login that you will use, which is admin and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as the password. Once you've done that, you can select a mining pool, whichever you fancy. I decided to go with two miners and uh, you get your, uh, you know, stratum and TCP and you punch that in but you will also need a wallet address. So I'm using the Tangem wallet. If you haven't seen our video on them, Fosk really put them through the ringer to make sure that they are top quality and turns out they are. Uh, and from my experience as well, they've also been really great to use, but uh, they actually support the Casper blockchain natively. So you can mine directly into cold storage, which I think is fantastic. So I'm mining directly onto my Tangem wallet into my Casper uh, coin wallet address there. Another great thing you'll notice is that size wise, it's pretty small. It's not that small, actually. I was quite surprised by the size when I got it, uh, having just watched videos on it. But you can see here against a, you know, generic Raspberry Pi, it's not really that big. It's small enough to set up under a desk or somewhere. It does run a little bit hot, so you'll just have to be careful of that. Don't leave it near anything uh, that you know might catch flame i don't know <laughs> but just be careful when you are uh, setting it up you'll notice very quickly how hot it gets so don't leave it uh, with papers and things that might be easily flammable if you haven't already please I do suggest you go and watch our other editor's video on this, Vincent. He put out a video on the KS0 Pro. You can also get basically the same info from him. But for me today, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be overclocking it. But first we need to get kind of like a baseline re reading, make sure that everything's working well. So as you can see from my initial kind of setup and the kind of one or two days of testing, it runs at about 200 giga hash and it is very stable, no problems whatsoever, which uh, at the moment kind of works out to around 14 Casper coins. Uh, but it's important to know that Casper does have what they call chromatic halvings, which are basically monthly reductions in block rewards. So every month you will be mining less Casper. So it's really, like I said, imperative you get your miner as quickly as possible. So shout out to ASIC Marketplace again for getting it to me quickly because these chromatic halvings are pretty intense and within a few months, it drops drastically. And within a year, Casper has essentially halved. So you really wanna make as much coin as you can while you can. And in line with that, I'm going to be putting this thing into overdrive. We're gonna overclock it, we're gonna set it up, we're gonna grab a couple of extra components that you need, and then we're going to push it to its limits to make sure we get as much coin as we can so that our ROI is like really good. But hopefully Casper will also see some really great price performance 
uh, within the market. It's currently doing really well. So I'm excited to see how it does once we've overclocked it. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Hey guys, it's me again from the future this time with some absolutely awesome updates on the KS Zero Pro. So this video was filmed actually quite a while ago and uh, there've been some serious improvements as I'm sure you can see even now as I'm showing the footage, this thing looks completely different. So this is the KS Zero Pro with shrouds, 3D printed shrouds that have been added over to ensure proper airflow as well as external fans to allow for the movement of air across the miner to cool it while it is hashing away. But you may ask yourself like, what's the point? It, it operates fine without it. Well, that's where the second part comes in. Huge thanks to T-Swift and his upgraded firmware, we have overclocked the KS0 Pro from a measly 200 gigahertz now into the 270 gigahertz a second range of hash rate. Like this is stable, as you can see here, it is completely stable and it hashes so much more effectively. So the improvement in earnings is actually quite stark when you compare it to my previous earnings from when I was running just the traditional firmware, as you can see here on screen. Uh, we also know that Casper and the cryptocurrency market uh, collectively have taken a huge uptick with Bitcoin having literally hit a new all-time high, dropped back down to around $67,000 where we are now. And so Casper as well has also really rocketed in price and which has really influenced the amount of daily emissions that Casper puts out. However, it's crazy to think that Casper, this small crypto that is not EVM compatible, it's not on MetaMask, there are no dApps built on it or anything, has almost $2 million produced every single day. It's not on Coinbase, it's not on Binance. And I think this coin has a huge upside. The T-Swift mining firmware was super easy to install. Um, I had to just restart the miner, ensure that I had a solid connectivity, like internet connection directly to the miner, uploaded the firmware. Then once you've uploaded the firmware, you choose how high you want to overclock it. So you can overclock it between 260 and I think 300 giga hash. So you can choose to kind of go really hard or keep it in the middle. I went for the 270 just to be on the safe side and it is operating completely perfectly. Um, it will overheat if it's not cooled properly and stop mining completely. So you must ensure that it is um, you know, cooled properly so that it can continue mining. Um, I was using just a generic big fan to cool it before the shrouds came in and once load shedding uh, here in South Africa happened uh, and I couldn't turn the fan back on on time. The miner started mining but according to the, the, the mining pool it kind of got up to speed and then it completely dipped down to zero and it stopped mining. So it's almost like there is a bit of a fail safe that has been put in which is really cool to know that you won't burn your miner out if you don't connect fans but it is really really recommended to use 120 millimeter just traditional usb fans connect them up to the back of the um, ks0 pro and rock it like absolutely rock it overclock it it is so much fun uh, just like vask actually said ironically it kind of looks like an asic miner now <laughs> you know this thing was originally just a, a home miner that you could just set up anywhere now it really moves some serious air it works phenomenally well and it has increased my mining profitability uh, tremendously i mean if you think about it moving from 200 to 270 it's almost an entire one third improvement so i am uh, really 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 impressed with how amazingly uh, smooth the process was to onboard the firmware and how quickly and efficiently it continued to mine and, and get everything going. So if you want to learn more about overclocking, be sure to hit up T-Swift on Telegram. You can see his details here. And uh, make sure you get some shrouds printed, the meter box, 
actually the company that we worked with to bring the Voscoin meter box to market with. They 3D print shrouds, which allow for the air to really be focused on the miner. Uh, so use those as well, or just use the generic fan on top and uh, overclock it that way. But definitely super fun times uh, to be had as we overclock this thing, as we push it to its limits. Just with regards to power usage, I don't currently have any way to measure my electricity usage that comes from the miner. However, when upgrading it, you do have to ensure that you purchase a higher wattage power supply. So the traditional power supply it comes with is rated for 120 watts. You need to upgrade that and buy one that can handle up to 180 watts. This is traditionally a gaming laptop charger, so the wattage increase is not significant. However, it is something that you will have to consider. So you can just hop on Amazon and grab one. Traditionally, it is for an MSI uh, gaming laptop. They use the same uh, kind of tip for the KS0 Pro, and uh, you can see the listing here. So make sure you grab that power supply just to ensure you don't burn out your traditional power supply for the KS0 Pro. Unfortunately, like I said, I can't give exact stats or readouts on power consumption, but I haven't noticed any sort of increase in my day-to-day -day electricity usage um, around my house. So I don't think it draws much more than 100 watts extra, which is really nothing in the grand scheme of things. Um, and as you can see, it looks really sick like it looks damn cool so yeah that's the update on the ks0 pro that i wanted to bring you guys sorry it's been a bit of a while actually but we made sure to get all of the um you know the shrouds the fans everything in get some days worth of testing and then i made an update to ensure that uh, you know the information is correct so casper absolutely loving this coin and uh, really enjoying mining with the ks0 pro also again, a huge thanks to ASIC Marketplace for providing us with this ASIC miner. Uh, we purchased it from them and like I said before, it arrived super fast. It was really impressive. The service was fantastic. So really recommend them. Uh, links in the description as usual. Thank you guys so much for watching this video through to the end and uh, we appreciate you. Here's uh, mixing it up a bit. Let's do six seconds of socks. <laughs> socks is my little uh, boy. He's not little anymore, but he's my baby and I love him just like Vosk loves Tails. And I uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers.